I picked up my bees about 45 minutes ago, two nukes, and now I am cleaning up the area, which honestly I hadn't had the heart to clean up um, from last year. And uh, it's interesting because I can kind of get an idea of what happened last winter um, and what uh, killed my bees last year at some point. Um, so I'm actually able to go through and investigate the hive more fully piece by piece. These honey supers still have honey in them. So the bees were not starving. They were likely affected by moisture or cold. The man I bought my bees from, a beekeeper, um, about 30 minutes from here, he said he lost about 20% of his hives. Um, and that kind of is even low for the amount of bee loss on the Sogging Bruce Peninsula this year. So what I'll probably do with all this leftover honey um, is crack it all open and put it in front of the new colonies and they're going to have some easy feasting as will other um, insects. Um, in the area, there are more beehives um, at this property. So they're gonna clean it all out and I'll clean up the frames and reuse them. Now it is time to open up those nukes. Um, you may remember that a nuke is short for nucleus. It's essentially a ready to grow hive with a queen, a laying queen, um, or at least a mated queen. These two are both laying queens, which means they're laying eggs. Um, and uh, four or five frames of bees with uh, bees in the larval stage, um, uncapped, incapped honey, uh, kind of everything the bees need. So I've got two, I'm going to open them and transfer them into a brood box, brood chamber, and um, then I, I'll be leaving them for probably a week, ten days, uh, and then I'll come back and see how they've settled in. Uh, it's warm uh, today and it's warm in this bee suit. Um, I just installed the first hive and I saw the queen and I saw lots of eggs, lots of larvae, lots of honey to the point that I'm actually going to be bringing some honey home today. Um, just chunks of honeycomb that they built outside the frames. Um, I couldn't get the, um, the inner cover on without scraping those off so yay for me. Um, I'm about to open the next box. This writing here, LQ, check mark, and then M, uh, it means that it's a, a laying queen that's been mated. So, I mean, they do the M first when she's mated, and then once they see eggs in there, uh, they do LQ check mark. So, as of June 16th, she was laying. Uh, if you notice on the other one, it said, um, no eggs. That was of the 26th of June, uh, but she is now laying. So let's open this one up. There she is. The yellow dot on her back. That is the queen. I'll be leaving these nuke boxes here for um, about a week. Bees operate using scent, and so to them, those nuke boxes still smell like home. So they're going to be able to smell the queen in their, their new um, hives, but uh, it might take them a little while to acclimate. So for now, I'll leave those there. I just wanted to summarize my experience today. I am a baby beekeeper, very new. So I am learning every, every time I handle bees at all, I'm learning. Um, sorry, I'm so sweaty. Um, one of the hives is a bit stronger than the other. Um, it's not as stark a difference as my hives last year, where one was markedly stronger. Um, this one, I would say there's just a little bit of a difference um, in the, the number of bees. Uh, the bees were 
really gentle bees, um, very friendly. I didn't even use my smoker. And now I just have to see how things go from here. Um, I'm not going to really know anything for uh, at least a week or 10 days um, because I don't want to open the hive um, in that time. I really want to give them time to settle in um, and not give them the stress of a hive inspection for a little bit. And I got so much honey, like so much. It's so heavy. Um, and that is a mix of honey from, from the first nuke that I opened, which uh, the bees had built onto the lid. And then um, my bees from last year had unfortunately left quite a bit of honey um, in the hive that they never got to eat. That is um, going to these new bees, um, but also a little bit to me too. I guess I'll see you guys in a couple weeks.